When installing the ST connector on fiber, you must first verify that you have all the correct pieces. Verify that you have the ST connector. The small bend limiter. The big bend limiter. The plastic tubing. The crimping ring. And the small plastic insert. Once you have verified that you have all these items, we will not be utilizing these items. We will not be utilizing the Big Ben limiter and the tubing. Go ahead and set these items aside. When installing the ST connector on fiber optic cable, the first piece that goes on will be the small bend limiter. Feeding the fiber optic cable through the tail of the small bend limiter, go ahead and slide the small bend limiter down the fiber optic cable. The next piece that goes on the fiber optic cable will be the crimping ring. Verify that the ST connector can actually fit inside the crimping ring. Once you have verified, go ahead and slide the crimping ring down the fiber optic cable. The next piece that goes on will be the small plastic insert. Grabbing your fiber optic cable, slide the small plastic insert down the fiber optic cable until it goes inside the crimping ring. To strip off the buffer and the cladding of the fiber optic cable, you need to measure two centimeters or three quarters of an inch of your fiber optic cable utilizing a ruler and a black permanent marker. Now, when stripping the buffer off the fiber optic cable, you can either use regular strippers or you can utilize the thermal strippers. When using the strippers, go ahead and feed your fiber optic cable through the strippers. And you can either take a little off at a time, or you can feed the cable through the strippers until you see your line. Go ahead and strip, out, strip it off all at once. Once you have stripped off the buffer and the cladding on the fiber optic cable, using the proper cleaning cloth and alcohol, clean off the fiber optic cable. What we will do now is called a dry fit. We will make sure the fiber optic cable can fit through the ST connector. Carefully feeding the fiber optic cable through the ST connector Make sure the fiber optic cable does not break inside the ST connector. Feeding the fiber optic cable all the way through the ST connector until it comes out the other side. The next step is to add the adhesive inside the ST connector. Sticking the needle inside the ST connector, press down on the needle until you see a little of the adhesive come out the tip of the ST connector. Once you see this, stop and rotate the needle clockwise inside the ST connector. Next we will be adding the primer on the fiber optic cable. Utilizing a brush or Q-tip, gently put the primer on the fiber optic cable. Now, once again we will be feeding the fiber optic cable inside the ST connector. Once again, being very careful, do not break the fiber optic cable inside the ST connector and make sure the fiber cable goes all the way through the ST connector. Once you have gotten the ST connector onto the fiber optic cable, wait 30 to 45 seconds or until you are unable to remove the ST connector from the fiber optic cable. Once you have waited 30 to 45 seconds, slide the small plastic insert and the crimping ring up to the ST connector as far as you can. Once you have done so, grabbing your crimping tool, you will crimp down on the ST connector on the number 3. Being careful not to break the fiber. Go ahead and crimp down and pop out the ST connector off of the crimping tool making sure not to break the fiber. Now using a hand scribe we will remove 
the fiber optic cable that's coming out of the SD connector gently pressing against the fiber and pulling away from the SD connector see if you can remove the fiber if you cannot try cutting against the other side not cutting in a saw motion now go ahead and slide the small bend limiter onto the crimping ring all the way against the ST connector. Once you have done this, go ahead with alcohol and the proper cleaning cloth, clean off your ST connector. Utilizing the brown polishing film, gently air polish the fiber until the fiber is flush with the face of the connector with one to two inch figure eights. Once you are done air polishing, you're going to need a glass plate, the rubber mat, the purple, the green, and the white polishing film. And you will also need the small polishing puck. Place the purple polishing film on the rubber mat. Clean the purple polishing film with alcohol and the proper cleaning cloth. Then place the ST connector inside the polishing puck. When you are polishing, grab the polishing puck, not the ST connector, and perform 10 to 12, 1 to 2 inch figure eights. Placing the white polishing film on top of the rubber mat, using alcohol and the proper cleaning cloth, clean off your white polishing film. Then place the polishing puck on top of the white polishing film and you will perform 15 to 18 1 to 2 inch figure 8 moving across the polishing film. Placing the green polishing film on top of the rubber mat, clean off the green polishing film with the alcohol and the proper cleaning cloth. Then place the polishing puck on top of the green polishing film and perform 20 to 25 1 to 2 inch figure 8 on the polishing film. Now, remove the ST connector from the polishing puck and clean off your ST connector with the proper cleaning cloth and alcohol. Once you are done polishing and cleaning your ST connector, go ahead, utilizing your microscope, go ahead and stick your ST connector inside your microscope and see how your polishing looks.